it's me, your favorite messy hair YouTuber, back at it again. Today we're gonna be watching another Darman skit about a gold digger. Say less, let's watch. Oh my gosh. Gail? Gail Armstrong. Amber! It's been forever. How have you been? Are you still dating that guy? Andre? Yeah. <laughs> well, he's my fiance now. We just got engaged. So they knew each other from high school. If I am within a 500 foot radius of someone I went to high school with, I'm just like, mm, no, I don't think so. I don't know you and you don't know me. But anyway, she's engaged now. He'll be here any minute. <laughs> wow. Isn't that your engagement ring? There's not even a diamond in it. How cheap. Oh! Imagine someone being that rude, like, oh, let me see your engagement ring. Oh, there's no diamond? Roll the whole man's away, because he's cheap. It's not even 1% of your business. What someone else's engagement ring looks like. Why does she even care? Well, Andre talks about getting me a better ring one day, but I told him it wasn't necessary. <laughs> well, I would never say yes to that ring. I mean, you should ditch him and get with a guy who's already successful, like I did. That way you don't have to write for a ring like this. You're engaged too? Yes. Okay, good for you. You have a fancy diamond ring. There's absolutely no need for you to just be like, look, 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 diamond ring, diamond ring, diamond ring, bigger than yours. Expensive. <laughs> like I get just casually being like, <laughs> she ain't even subtle about it. This is a five carat BBS diamond. It's one of the most expensive stones you can buy. My fiance Derek makes a ton of money. <laughs> well, it's really beautiful. I know, right? <laughs> when I saw how big it was, I was like, how can I say no? When I saw how big it is, I couldn't say no. That's what she said. Did y'all have beef in high school? You don't walk up to somebody and be like, oh yeah, my fiance, he makes a ton of money. Look how expensive my ring is. We're just so rich. Anyways, what are you doing outside of Darman's studio? I'm waiting for Andre. He works here as a production assistant. <laughs> what? A PA? Don't they only make like 40K a year? Bro, why would you want to be with a guy like that? That doesn't bother me. Well, it should. She's just all up into her financial business. What are you gonna ask next? How much does Andre's family lineage cost? What kind of car does his mother, grandfather, and brother drive? Derek works here, but he's a senior director and he's pulling in like six figures a year. Wow, uh, that's great. Andre has goals to become a senior director one day too. Honey, let me give you a little bit of advice. Don't wait around for a man to become successful. Just date one that already is. I mean, that's the ticket. Thank you for that useless bit of advice. It's like not everybody wants a successful man. Money doesn't mean everything to everyone. That's just insane. Imagine if women only dated guys that made at least six figures a year. Most of the world's men would be single. Absolutely ridiculous. Not once did she say, I wish I had a daddy that would give me some sugar. Y'all need to make like the rubber band around your neck. Get out of here with this unsolicited advice. I never thought of it that way. I always believe that you should support someone even when they have nothing. Because one day, they'll have everything. You can't be serious. Let me show you something. You see that car over there? That's the new Lamborghini Urus. Whoa. Derek just picked it up. What does Andre drive? Oh, <clears throat> uh, nothing special. Just, uh, it's right over there. He drives a Honda Civic and my man trying to get to point A to point B like is it really that important like what kind of car a guy drives like I'm the type of person that will be impressed if you even know how to drive. I get that the Lambo SUV is nice. You know why I was never super impressed by that car is because I watched a review of some guy pick his son up from school with a new Lambo SUV and then the kid was just so unimpressed by this $300,000 car. It was just like it's just a car and it's like slap the Lambo logo on it like ain't nothing special and then I'm like dang he right this kid knows what's up that beat up old Honda Civic you have got to be kidding me I would not be caught dead in that thing um actually if you were dead and they transported your body in the Honda Civic you technically wouldn't have a choice you should break up with him immediately I can't believe this woman like I know it's but it drives me crazy like this skit that is just like y'all hear that your man doesn't have money break up with him Your girlfriend doesn't know how to cook break up with her your dog doesn't know how to talk take it back to the shelter Your phone doesn't have service throw it down a flight of stairs. Where is the sense of logic? 
Hey, babe. You're not gonna believe this. Hey, sweetheart. What's up? You know that promotion I've been talking about? Yeah? Well, I got it! Hi! <laughs> <laughs> You're now looking at the new senior director of Darman Studios. Oh, so you saying this guy, the poor boyfriend who joined the Honda Civic, he's now the senior director? Girl, I thought your man was the senior director. Mm. My gosh, honey, I knew you would get it. I'm so proud of you. Thank you. But you know, I couldn't have done it without you. And that's why. Whoa. I decided to get you the ring that you really deserve. So let me try this again. Gail Armstrong, will you marry me? <laughs> yes, Andre, of course I will. Why is she so like annoyed, like out here ugh, yawning, looking all disgusted? Like, isn't this what she was just preaching the past 10 minutes? Get yourself a rich man. Her man is finally like rich. Oh, I think she a little upsetty spaghetti because she was wrong about him. And oh, now she has a big diamond ring and now she's like, oh, I'm not the only one with a big diamond ring. Oh my god. Wow, it's even bigger than hers. <laughs> Thank you so much. She's like a child when it's their sibling's birthday and they're opening up presents on their birthday. And it's like, mother, why don't I get anything today? Because it's, it's not your birthday. You believed in me when I had nothing. And now I just want to give you everything. Thank you, baby. Thank you so much. I've got one more surprise. You know that old car I've been driving around since college? Yeah. What about it? Well, don't have to drive around in that anymore. You see, with my signing bonus, I bought us a new car. Yeah, yeah, okay, okay, okay. You got a $300,000 signing bonus, yeah, instead of paying for the house and the bills, you're gonna buy a 300k car, yeah, no, what doesn't work that way? Unless you get like a million dollar sign on bonus, that's a lot. I, I would not be spending 300k on a car, man. Oh my gosh, Jenny. Right? Oh, but I was fine with the old car. I know, I know. But lots of things are gonna change now. Oh, since you're so fine with the old car, you can now drive the old car, and the new car will be mine. <laughs> I want you to drive it first. Oh my gosh, okay. Thank you, baby. Of course. Let's go. Come okay. On. It was nice seeing you, Amber. Good luck with everything. <laughs> Whatever. <laughs> what do you mean? <laughs> Whatever. Like, what are you so angry about? Oh, here comes her man's. There you are. Ugh, just ran into this girl from college who tried to show me up. Oh, I'm sorry. She tried to show you up. Like, she went in your face like, Look at my new ring! I am married and rich and living the best life possible. <laughs> your man drives a Honda Civic. No! Break up with him! He's wrong! <laughs> we have to go out and buy a Rolls Royce now. Oh, uh, actually... What is wrong with you? Why do you seem so stressed out? So, sorry, I'm not allowed to be stressed out after work. And now I got you like, oh, we gotta buy a Rolls Royce now. We, we just bought the Lambo SUV. Like, wh what you mean? We gotta go buy a Rolls Royce now. You're not gonna believe this, but I actually just lost my job. What? I was using the company card to uh, pay for personal expenses and they just found out, so they fired me. <sighs> Derek, Ooh. how could you do something so stupid? What, what do you expect? How else am I supposed to keep up with all the expensive things you want? Oh! I can't believe this. I can't believe this. I was just telling her how she should just find a rich boyfriend. Mine just lost his job. Oh, how the tables have turned. So, what are we gonna do now? I'm gonna have to sell my Lamborghini. The good news is, at least I still have my Honda. What? Absolutely not. I will not be seen in some bucket. Girl, what do you mean some bucket? You want bucket? I'm gonna take you off to the chum bucket and drop you off there. Like, it's really sad how this whole entire relationship is just based on you give me money and I buy things. If you can't give me money to buy things, there is no relationship. You don't have a choice. And we're gonna have to sell your engagement ring too. Let's head back some of the credit card debt. <laughs> what? I don't believe this. Sell my ring? watching them like get into their brand new Rolls Royce. You're here like, oh man, I gotta sell my ring, gotta sell my car, all the things I just flexed. 
I gotta now give up? Oh, it's a travesty. Look at all these tears, you know? Saddest story I heard all week. I mean, she did get what she deserved. Moral of the story, if you actually love somebody, you need to support them, even when they have nothing. So that one day, they could give you everything. But yeah, I hope you guys enjoyed this video. Comment below, let me know what you think. I will link Darman's channel in the description below. Check out his videos, they're really awesome. And they always have a special message that will teach you a lesson. If you guys enjoyed, make sure to hit that like button in the Make sure you turn on notifications. Click, click, and subscribe to the Wolf Pack. Oh, I love you guys so much. Thanks for watching. Bye, guys.